Hi guys, it's Miss Kim from the Magoda Branch Library and we're gonna do a recorded story time today about flowers. I love flowers, I love all the really pretty colors, but before we get to that, we have to do our welcome song. And it goes like this. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here to have some fun. First we clap our hands just so. Then we bend, reach your arms out way high and touch your toes all the way down and come back up. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. Nice job, I know you guys did an excellent job at home. The book I brought today is called Plant the Tiny Seed by Christy Matheson and published by HarperCollins. There's gonna be parts in this story where I'm gonna hold it up close to the screen so you guys can help me with the book, okay? Okay, let's find out. There's magic in this tiny seed. Press it down and count to three. Here we go. One, two, three. Plant another, then one more. Press them down and count to four. One, two, three, four. Wiggle your fingers. Add some water. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right. That's enough. Now rub the sun to make it hotter. Here's my sun clear up here. Rub my sun. We gotta make it nice and warm for our plants to grow. Good job. Tap the cloud and wish for rain. Here's our cloud. Tap, tap, tap. And wish really hard for rain. Let's turn the page and see if it worked. Oh, it did. Look at that. Clap your hands to bring the sun again. Can you guys clap your hands for me? I'm holding the book, so I can't clap. But you guys clap nice and loud at home, okay? I'll give you a minute. All right, let's turn the page and see what happens. Oh, find the worm. Look for its tail. Do you see a worm? I see a snail and a ladybug and, oh my goodness, what is that? Is that the worm? I think it is. Shoo away the hungry snail. Look at that snail. Shoo, shoo, snail. Don't eat our plants. No. Tell the little buds good night. Good night, little plants. Guess what you'll see in the morning light. I don't know. What do you think we're going to see? Wow. Point to the purple flower. Do you see it? Where's it at? Point to it. You're right. It's right. There, good job. Tap the cloud again, it's up here we go. Tap, 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 tap. I wonder if it worked. Oh, it did, look, it's another rain shower. Oh my goodness. Touch the blossoms, but gently please. Here we go, one, two, three. We have orange, purple, and red. Oh, jiggle the plants to scatter the seeds. Jiggle them. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. So we can plant more flowers. The purple flower needs a clip. Swipe across the stem. Here we go. Snip, snip, snip. Did you get it? Snip, snip, snip. Okay. Close your eyes and wave your hands in the air. Okay, here we go. I want you to close your eyes, no peeking, okay? And wave your hands in the air. So close your eyes and wave your hands. Wave them. Okay, what do you think it did? Should we turn the page and find out? Okay. Oh my goodness, look! There's magic everywhere. We have butterflies and hummingbirds and bees, which all need flowers to live. Good job, guys. And that's the end. I wish we could go see some real flowers though, don't you? Hmm, let me think about that. I might know somebody who has some real flowers we can go look at. My friend Emily, she works at a farm. It's called Dunkler's Farm and Greenhouse. I think that we could probably go see her. Do you guys want to go see her with me today? I think we should go visit Emily at the greenhouse and see what she can show us. That's a perfect plan. We should take the story time on a field trip to the greenhouse. I think that's what we'll do. Come on guys, let's go and I'll see you at Dunkler Farms. Hi guys, look, we made it to Dunkler Farms. Woo! Hi guys, 
we made it to the greenhouse. This is my friend Emily. She's going to tell us some stuff about plants, about what attracts bees and butterflies and all that really cool stuff. So I'm going to let Emily talk right now. Hi everybody. So I'm Emily and we're at the greenhouse today. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys about is different plants that attract bees. So any plant that is going to have a flower on it, so anything you see around here, those are going to attract bees. They like the pollen that the flowers produce and that's what's going to attract your bee. Now butterflies on the other hand, they like anything with a flat surface that they can land on. So anything like these petunias here that have this nice flat, nice flat edge, that's where they can land so that they can drink the inside the nectar. And then hummingbirds, they like anything that has a narrow throat that they can stick their long beaks in. So that's going to be like these flowers up here, these verbenas. They have skinny throats with long centers, and that's where they can get their nectar from. These are really pretty. What are these, Emily? So that flower there, that's a petunia too. It's the same as this guy here. They're just all different colors and different varieties. These are really cool. I kind of like these hanging things too. What is the point of this? Is this for anything special? Not anything special. It's just for a decoration. We call this pattern here, this uh, darker one, this is a wicker pattern. And underneath here, it's a moss pattern. Sometimes it helps hold the water a little bit better, but really it's just for decoration. It's not anything too special. Can we walk along around here and look at some of the plants and you tell us what they are just out of curiosity? Absolutely. All right. So over here on the floor, we have some coleus. They like the shade. They don't get any flowers, so bees won't like those, but they're really pretty just for their leaves. Um, every flower that you see here, they are just annuals. So what that means is they only grow one year and then they're going to die with the frost and you'll have to replant them in the spring. Perennials are the ones that come back every single year and you only have to plant them once. Could you show us how to plant a flower? I absolutely can. Come Yay! on. All right. So over here, we're actually going to be planting some cucumber seeds today. So what I have is my tray here. I'm gonna take my seeds out of here. So you guys have things, not just flowers. You have vegetables too? Yes, yep, oh my we gosh. do flowers and vegetables. So you can decorate your yard and you can plant some stuff to eat in the fall as well. That's awesome. I love vegetables. <laughs> What's your favorite vegetable, Miss Kim? Um, I don't know if it's actually a vegetable. Maybe carrots? Oh yes, I like carrots. But I really like lettuce too. Lettuce is good. I'm kind of basic, but it's important to try all vegetables, kids. You should try all your vegetables. They're very good for you. Yes, we have tomatoes and peppers, um, cucumbers like what I'm planting, lettuce like Miss Kim likes, as well as carrots too. Do you have pumpkins in the fall? We sure do, and we actually plant pumpkin seeds as well. I love pumpkins. Pumpkin pie is my favorite. Ooh, pumpkin pie is pretty yummy. So what are you doing? So right now what I'm doing is I'm putting the seeds in the tray and then after I put them all in and line them all up, I'm going to poke them into their dirt bed so that they can go to bed. And then once they're all tucked in nice and tight in there, we will bury them in and let them rest. And then in a couple of weeks, they will start to grow and they'll look like all these little plants here. These guys all started like seeds too. When she gets those all down in there, guys, I think we should get a close-up of what the seeds look like on top of the dirt. You know what? You can actually play in the dirt when you plant seeds. I know your mom's going to always let you do that to your dad's, but hey, man, when you're planting seeds, you get to play in dirt. That's probably my favorite part, is getting to play in the dirt. What's the white stuff on top of the dirt? So that is called perlite, and it just helps as a way to keep the water in the dirt it's just a way to help the water stay and not get all over the place and um, the dirt not dry out quite as quickly oh, how often do you have to water them um usually when it's really really hot outside you'll want to water them once a day but if it's kind of chilly or if it's rained recently you'll only have to water it um, if the soil is dry which is the best way to tell if the, it needs planted is if the soil looks dry like this that's when you have to water it. Yes. Yep. Oh, good to know. I oh. want to grow a garden at my house, but I don't have one yet. Oh, no. I have lots of rabbits, though. Will they eat my garden? They very well might eat your garden, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. So here are all of our little seeds. 
they're the slightly yellow color there and now they're all ready to get tucked in the bed i think i can do that yeah it's super simple you want to give it a try sure i'm planting seeds guys <laughs> all right and then we'll finish this up and then we just do it a little shake like that and now these guys are all done. We'll give it a little water and let them sit. And then in a couple of weeks, they'll be all big and ready to start growing cucumbers. Mm, yum, cucumbers, eh? Can you make pickles out of cucumbers? So pickles and cucumbers are actually two different things. Pickles are tiny baby cucumbers that are better for putting in jars and making them like your favorite flavors, like dill and sweet. Big cucumbers like these are just a little too big and have a slightly different flavor and way bigger seeds that wouldn't be good to pickle. I did not know that. You know who else likes pickles and cucumbers? Our bunnies. Do you want to oh. go see them? Yes, you have a bunny? We do. Oh my god. Let's go check them out. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I say, well, be careful. His, he's pretty powerful with his horns. Hi. <laughs> he's adorable. What's his name? That's Gideon. Gideon? Gideon Hi. likes grapes and Cheerios. <gasps> Those are his favorite treats. I like Cheerios too. Oh yeah, you get me with your horns. <laughs> That's okay. He is a strong boy. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. <laughs> All right, and then over here, we have our bunny friends that also like the cucumbers and carrots like Miss Kim does. This here, this is Jamie. She's a mini Rex rabbit. Aww. And then over here, we have Bear, Oops. who's a little bit scared. <laughs> But he's a silver fox. He's much bigger than Jamie is. Aww. Now, where did you get these rabbits? So these two are actually rescues. Um, they were actually found in people's backyards. Somebody must have let their pets loose. And we were called to come rescue them. And so we went and rescued them because we have experience raising rabbits. And the town kind of knows that. So we came and we rescued them. Now, where did your goat come from? He came from a farm around the corner. Um, they raise goats over there. He's supposed to be a pygmy goat, um, but he's a little bit bigger than a pygmy goat. Uh oh. So I think he got crossbred with Gideon? something else. <laughs> Did you get bigger than a pygmy goat? You are a good looking boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, yeah. He's feisty. He is feisty today. He's like, he man, said, I didn't bring him any Cheerios. Right. <laughs> he said new people came to visit and didn't bring him any treats. Oh, my goodness. And I don't want anybody to be concerned, but this red stuff on his horn, it's not blood, it's just the paint from his house here. He likes to play by headbutting it, so it does get the paint rubbed off on his horns a little bit, because he likes to headbutt just like that. So if you guys actually come out to Dunkler Farm, don't actually try to pet Gideon like I did. They actually have a sign up here because he might get you with his horns and I don't want anybody to get hurt. But he is pretty darn cute. He's a little bit rough, but otherwise he's cute and friendly. So if you bring him some Cheerios, I bet you they'll give them to him maybe later when you're not here or something. Yeah. How Gideon. Which Cheerios are your favorite? Just regular? Yeah, just regular. He can't have any sugar Hi. or sweets. He just Hi. likes plain oat flavored things. <laughs> Do I smell like my doggies? <laughs> Where are we at now, Emily? So right now we are actually across the where we grow everything for the year and this is what we call the vegetable house so these are going to be all of the vegetables that we grow for this year oh what are the purple things so down here on the back those are actually pansies and violas they are a cold season flower so that's why they're blooming right now as we're filming this in april it's because it's cold outside and they don't mind the cold at all so they are blooming now is this lettuce it is yep there's all types of things in here. We have lettuce, cabbage, beets, cucumbers, carrots. Um, there's herbs in here as well too, like cilantro and parsley. Yum, what are these things? So these guys right here in our faces, those are sprinklers. It helps us with watering. So all we have to do is turn them on and they spin around in a circle and fling water everywhere to water all of the plants. That is so cool. Goodness, 
We had so much fun at Dunkler Farms today. I didn't know they had so many plants. It was so nice that my friend Emily and her family that let us come visit them at the farm today. I liked the goat too. Did you like Gideon? He was super cute and the rabbits were cute too. I want to thank you guys for coming to the farm with me today. You should go visit Gideon. Dunkler Farms is like 15 minutes from Mogador. It was so easy to find. If you have time, go see them. They have so many pretty things. But that's all we have for today, except for we're gonna sing our goodbye. And it goes like this. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. I hope to see you soon. Bye guys. See you later. <laughs>